James Carpenter with Country Living. Welcome to my channel and thank you for watching my videos. Okay, I'm going to give you an update on the uh, 1820s uh, restoration of the old barn. And uh, we've done a, a few things that may not have got documented, but uh, I'll explain it to you. We, we have dug the holes, which I think you may have seen in one of the other episodes. This one, this board here comes out and there'll be a telephone pole that goes all the way up underneath that beam there now that beam's got a little bit of rod on it so we'll be reinforcing that now we got another telephone pole here now these telephone poles are just sitting there right now so if they look out of plumb to you that's a good possibility but the um the holes are we dug them four foot deep and we put about eight inches of concrete in the bottom of the hole and we used a 12 inch auger so it's a pretty good pad down there the bracing all that's uh working out real well for us we used the laser we got the building perfectly plumb uh, we allowed ourselves an inch and a half of play so that we can get the poles in there get them plumb and then set the building down on the poles now you can see how we we had to chisel that concrete away to dig the holes and everything that was a pretty good job in itself so really today is pretty much a, a great day because this is the moment we've been waiting for to get this building up on the poles and then once we once we get it set down in its permanent location we're going to wrap this with pressure treated lumber all the way from down there clear up to up there to overlap and take the old barn beams and tie them into the post so it'll be basically the hold down uh, we'll wrap this side and this side so that we don't lose any of the uh, the uh, interior look of the building so I hope this video was informative for you and and um, I um, want to say thank you for subscribing to my channel and thank you for watching my videos